Today we're talking about whale tail locks, specifically for canopy setups, and why everyone reckons they're so much better than the humble T-lock. Hey guys and welcome back to the garage. It feels like it's been a little while since we've done a good old fashioned garage video, but I'm currently in here working on a bit of an upgrade to the canopy setup, which you might already be able to see behind me right now. So I'm swapping from these old school T-locks into these brand new wow tail locks, which I'm pretty excited about. But I thought it was a good opportunity to jump in and do a bit of a comparison between the old T-locks and these brand new wow tail locks. Now, if you spend a bit of time online, you'll know that people absolutely rave about these wow tail locks and reckon they're leagues above the uh, the old school T-locks. But if you're wondering why that's the case, I thought now's a good opportunity while I've got one of each installed in the same canopy door to do a detailed comparison. So the first and probably the main reason that people choose whale tails over T-locks is for security. Now, I know the saying is if people want to break into your stuff, they're going to break into your stuff no matter what you do. But I, for one, am all about making it as difficult and as annoying as possible for people to break into my canopy. And the problem with these T-locks is that this locking mechanism is quite exposed on the front here. It's covered with nothing more than this dust cap. If you've managed to keep your dust caps in place, quite often they get taken off by shrubs. So it is possible for people to get in there and uh, yeah, manipulate your locking mechanism. And the second problem is that these handles can't be locked up, so you can easily just pop them down, even while the canopy's locked, and get a bit of leverage on there to break into the canopy that way. Whale tails solve both those problems with this clever handle design, shaped a bit like a whale's tail. Underneath we find the same locking mechanism as the T-lock handle, but when that whale tail handle is folded up, it completely blocks that locking mechanism, which means we can't get in there to manipulate it, and so the handle can't be folded out of the way that you can also uh, fit a small padlock behind there like so. This padlock is just from my garden gate, it's so probably not one I'd use for the canopy setup, but just one as a bit of an example. So now that handle is locked in place, I can no longer fold it down to gain access to that mechanism behind, and I also can't use the handle to leverage my way into the canopy. The second difference is in the functionality of the locks and how they are to operate on a daily basis. Now this is probably the difference that surprised me the most, but whale tails are so much nicer to operate. And that comes down to how they actually function inside, behind the door. So the old school T-locks, they're a very simple system. As you close the door down and twist the handle, essentially you're just turning that catch so it comes down and holds on to the inside of the canopy to prevent the door from opening again. But what that means is when you actually go to close it, you have to push that door fully shut against all the seals before you twist that handle and close it up to make that procedure nice and smooth. Well tails work a little bit differently, so they actually clamp the door into the canopy when you close them up. So when you fold that handle flush into the canopy door, it actually tightens this whole area and that pulls the canopy door in place. And while the T-locks essentially scrape on the brush plate inside the canopy, the whale tails have a roller system which is much smoother to use. It's only a small difference, but honestly it is really noticeable and it means when you're closing the door down, you don't need to put that much force twist the handle and the clamping actually happens when you fold that handle up instead of when you're twisting the T-lock. And the third and final difference is a bit subjective, but I reckon that whale tail locks look a lot better. Might just be because mine are black and matching with the rest of the canopy, but I reckon they look absolutely awesome. Anyway, that pretty much uh, brings this video to an end of my quick first thoughts impression on the differences between T-locks and whale tails. They're working really well for me so far. I was actually surprised at how nice they are to use. and. A bit of extra protection never goes astray either. So feel free to comment down below if you guys have any questions or if there's any differences I missed out in this video. I will also mention that I'm only really talking about this style of whale tail locks. I know there is some other styles that mount in the center of the canopy door and they've got some metal rods that stick out and connect into the edges of the canopy. I don't really know much about those so I can't comment on them. So this video is more about just, just this style of canopy lock. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So I've just been having a think, and there actually is a bit of a downside to these whale tail locks depending on who your friends are, because essentially anyone that's got a padlock could just walk up and lock you out of your very own canopy. So, just something to keep in mind. <laughs>